హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు విద్యా టీవీ ఈ పర్టికులర్ వీడియోలో మనం టీఎస్పిఎస్సీ ఏడబ్ల్యూకి సంబంధించిన మోడల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ చూద్దాం అండ్ బ్రాంచెస్ ఆర్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ రిలేటెడ్ టు సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వచ్చేసి స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్స్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్స్ నుంచి మ్యాక్సిమం క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ చేయొచ్చు అండ్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ so let us get into the video first question is young's modulus is defined as the ratio of young's modulus is defined as the ratio of longitudinal stress and longitudinal strain it is defined as the ratio of longitudinal stress and longitudinal strain next question the compression test is carried on dash materials generally the compression test is carried on brittle materials whereas tensile test is carried on ductile materials the compression test on the generally these two tests and the tensile as well as the compression test can be carried on utm machine universal testing machine so compression test anedi for brittle materials whereas tensile test anedi ductile materials right next question the property of a material by virtue of which it can be beaten or ro- rolled into plates so the property of a material by virtue of which it can be beaten or rolled into plates thin sheets anagane compulsory it is due to the property of malleability it is due to the property of malleability the material can be rolled into sheets whereas ductility the material can be formed drawn into wires that is ductility property and plasticity it doesn't show like a once the load is removed it cannot like it doesn't show any kind of elastic properties that is plasticity and it shows permanent deformation whereas elasticity once the load is removed it comes back to its original shape that is elasticity so these are the various properties mechanical properties of material so so our question is the property of material by which it can be formed into sheets so our answer is option a malleability next question right in the given figure which curve represents glass which curve represents glass it is undoubtedly the smallest curve which is nothing but curve c because glass doesn't show any kind of deformation once the smallest load is applied it breaks and it doesn't show any kind of deformation kabatti so directly manaku breaking point anedi vastundi kabatti curve c is the answer whereas this curve is nothing but uh, it is the stress strain curve for the ductile material so our answer is curve c represents stress strain curve for the glass material right next question hooke's law holds good up to elastic limit okay according to the hooke's law stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit okay so hooke's law holds good up to elastic limit next question what is poisson's ratio how is poisson's ratio defined as it is defined as the ratio of longitudinal stress right it is the ratio of longitudinal stress and longitudinal strain poisson's ratio is uh, defined as sorry it is defined as longitudinal stress and lateral stress ratio between longitudinal stress and lateral stress right next question i think it is lateral stress and longitudinal stress option c lateral poisson's ratio is defined as the la- uh, ratio of lateral stress and longitudinal stress right next question the value of poisson's ratio for cast iron is it lies between 0.23 to 0.27 and poisson's ratio doesn't have any kind of units 
so the poisons ratio lies between 0.23 to 0.27 for cast iron right it is the same question the value of poisons ratio for cast iron is 0.23 to 0.27 Next question: The shear force and bending moment are zero at the free end of a cantilever beam. The shear force and bending moment are zero at the free end of a cantilever beam if it carries, right? If it carries a uniformly distributed load over the whole length. Okay, the shear force and bending moment are zero. at the free end of a cantilever beam if it carries uniformly distributed load over the whole length entire length of the beam that is of option c is the right answer next question a thin cylindrical shell of diameter d and a length l and thickness t is subjected to an internal pressure p what is the longitudinal stress in the shell so thin cylindrical shell anadu kabatti our answer is the longitudinal stress is given by pd by 40 pd by 42 4t is the answer that is option c is the right answer next question the strength of the shaft is judged by what the strength of the shaft is judged by the judged by the torque transmitted by the shaft the strength of the shaft is judged by the torque transmitted by the shaft whereas the dimensions of the shaft indicated by the length of the shaft okay the strength of the shaft is judged by the torque transmitted by the shaft whereas the shaft is specified by the length of the shaft that is so uh, according to the question our answer is torque transmitted by the shaft it tells us about the strength of the shaft next question the rank is formula holds good for what short columns or long columns or both short and long columns right rankings formula holds good for both short and long columns rankings formula holds good for both short short and long columns right so these are the questions related to strength of materials very some of uh, very important questions right that's all for this video thank you